what's up guys and welcome to a new tutorial first of all before I start this video I want to highlight two points the first thing is that I never wanted to make this video but there have been a lot of requests so I decided to make it anyway and the second point is this video is very basic and it is for you if you are a final year student or a postgraduate student but if you are working in the industry then you will find this video very trivial so with that being said let's start modeling so here we have two files you can find them online and for your convenience I will just put the link in the video description first I will extract this one okay open this open this okay so this is the vehicle file this is the report and this is the barrier so first I want to open this combined file but I want to open with text editor so if you see here the file is very small actually all right it has the control set up and it has the output set up and that's all but if you look closely it will have this include meaning when you open this file it will summon this one and this one the, the it will summon the car file and also the uh, load cell file the load cell is actually the barrier that the car gonna hit so I open this one now you see we have our vehicle and this is the load cell of course we will delete this one because we want the, this car to hit an, another car but uh, before that let me mention few things first of all if I click on the unclick on the mesh you can see this uh, dots okay like here this green like a web thing this one we call it uh, constraint nodal rigid body and it is used to fix between the different parts you can easily make them using create and using this constraint I showed how to make this constraint nodal rigid body or CNRB in one of my previous videos I will link that below in the description so now we open the keyword just to highlight few things okay this airbag is not the, the airbag that we know because you can see here we don't have any airbag but this airbag is actually for the pressure of the wheels you see we have uh, four wheels of course and we have uh, four of this airbag airbag sim simple airbag model okay, so you define very basic things like the heat capacity for constant volume and constant pressure and this is like the temperature if you study some basic of thermodynamics then these things will be familiar okay now let us do what we want to do I want to delete this thing so I go to element tools element edit and then by area and then delete okay now I go to model again keyword here I have initial velocity generation okay this velocity is already applied to the vehicle so you notice that we have actually four of them you might wonder why you have four this actually the, the first one is for the whole vehicle except the wheels or the tires and two three four this is for the wheels because for the the wheels they they also are they also applying a rotational speed which is omega here so this is i think for the front wheel and this is for the rear wheels and this one is actually for the these nodes you can see here these nodes okay the wheel will rotate around this node so this node also have to be moving in the same direction with the same speed otherwise the rotation of the wheels will not be around the fixed axis uh, what else I want to mention here 
So how to get this omega? If you know basic of dynamics, you just multiply the translational speed with the radius of the wheel. Then you will get this omega, and omega is in radian per unit time. So if you are using seconds, then it will be in seconds. Uh, okay, I've been asked before, what is the difference between velocity and velocity generation? Uh, from my knowledge, velocity is like a, a primitive version of velocity generation. For the initial velocity, you can use it only on, no on nodes, but for the velocity generation, as you might already know, you can use it on nodes, node set, and... Uh, set part and you have more options like the birth time what is it sorry like uh, velocity generation start time and yeah, this one so let's say you don't want the velocity to start at the beginning of the simulation then you can use this one and this one is linked to this velocity generation it's not linked to velocity okay here we have the rigid wall as you might see we have actually six rigid wall which is uh, like um, maybe too much but what we can do is we can draw them and see here we have the rigid wall finite forces okay this one actually is there so that the car will hit this one and this rigid wall will take the output of the forces but right now we don't need that so we can just right click and delete and this one we have one two three four five okay this one is actually for each wheel as you can see here okay ignore first rigid wall you can see we have one two three four i'm not sure why there is five but it should have only been four but yeah five five is correct uh, this five is this one as I said before so we can just delete this uh, sorry not modify delete delete okay show again we have four and each of these rigid wall is defined for one wheel okay you can define only one for the whole thing I mean for the whole car and the four wheels you can define only one rigid wall as a floor but the way they did this I think I'm not sure I think because they want to find the forces easily of each wheel okay so uh, using this method they can find the weight distribution of the car okay all right so we go to control uh, we have uh, many options here defined you can check the termination time the termination time is 0 0.15 okay so this one will be in seconds and just want to double check you can open any material let's say the rigid material okay this one kilogram per not kilogram sorry is ton per millimeter cube so if that's the case then this time is in seconds okay this time step okay this is the default value and this is how you define mass scaling mass scaling is a technique used to reduce the runtime of the simulation and i've mentioned about this in one of my previous videos so now i want to save this file control s okay here you can save as subsystem this option is available because as i mentioned in the beginning of uh, this video this file is made from like three file this is the main file and the main file will summon this one and this one okay but for my case i don't want to do that i want all my files to be saved in only single keyword so i untick on this one and then browse then i open the same directory here i say pick up then save so here i have this file so i want to run this one in test first to see if everything is going fine or not okay wait 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 oh surprisingly we 
did not have any errors so it says eight hours but uh, don't believe the first estimation like they say don't judge a book by its cover control c sw2 you can see that it will take only one hour okay so now i close this one i know now that this file is working fine now i go to the other vehicles file so extract files okay why well, i want to use this one because this one is a smaller one uh, is like a, a simplified model this one is a very detailed model so it, it will take very long time so uh, this one cme vehicles all right i have a few options here let's say i op open the bus as i said before this is the file that will include all these parts just want to open it i will not use it in this video so okay here you have our bus file okay anyway you can go through it and uh, discover the file by yourself like we did before i will not use this one i will use this uh, small vehicle this is my favorite car so again i use this one main so if i view this one okay it's warnings you can ignore them all right this is the file that we want you can just go through the keywords like we did before and delete the things that we don't want you can here you can see here in this file the rigid wall only one rigid wall the floor define only one for everything unlike the first file this one we have four rigid walls but this guy has only one rigid wall ignore okay initial velocities is defined okay so no need to change that if you want to change of course you can just change the value and uh, what else first i want to save this one the same like we did before i want to save as a single file and put it in a different place here a small car you can see this main file has the co commands and everything this one has the mesh and the nodes and the parts so i did save them in only one file so that uh, when I copy or transfer the files, I have only one single file. That's why I like always to save it in one single file. Where is the guy? Yeah, this is a guy. All right. Now I open this one. Mm -hmm. What we're gonna do next is I want to export this one and put it here to this file. Then we run the collision impact. So before I import, I have to rotate this one because both of them going in the X direction. So I have to rotate this one and then change the velocity to the opposite direction. So we do that now. We show all the parts. Show the window, okay. Go to element tools, transform, and then we rotate in Z. Pick direction, uh, sorry, pick the center of rotation. This is not actually center. Should be in Y, should be zero. And in Z is here already, okay. So now we rotate whole meaning we rotate everything and then no need to copy elements then 180 degrees positive or negative it does not matter okay accept you can see now we have some nodes here which we can delete these nodes are actually the nodes that left after we deleted the load cell so node delete delete unreferenced element nodes then accept all right uh, the other thing that we want to do we want to position this one this guy in the right place so if i measure i show the mesh if i measure the tip of this car you can see in x is 4539 or 4540 and then i go to this file i do the same thing i measure the tip of this car this one is minus 28 meaning right now actually we have a very big gap between the two cars so what i can do here I can take this one I, I copy that distance and then i go to translate then in x uh hole everything now we translate with negative direction i think yeah negative direction then if we measure this one 
now this guy will be 0.9 or 0 and here the other guy as we measured before it will be like minus 33 so we have like 30 millimeter gap between both of them okay so now i control s to save this one and after that we want to import to this one i save this one again i think i saved like this and now i want to run the small vehicle first to see if we have any errors mm, cme small car maximize our resources okay we have some errors okay these all are warnings we check the first error load curve 250 has a vertical slope so we go to model then keyword define load 250 right it has vertical slope i think this is the vertical slope we don't need we cannot have this one all right so what i can do i can just delete the first point and then plot now we don't have any vertical slope okay so load curve to five zero and two five one also have the same problem plot yeah this one this is the problem again i delete this one then accept all right accept done now we go and see what else we have two five one is solved already okay i think that's all this curve both of these actually use in the spring material it's not like the normal stress strain curve that you use in the material number 24 i think this one one of these spring materials yeah this one you see load curve 250 251 250 251 so 250 is the force and displacement and this is also force and displacement for uh, the un unloading condition okay control save and then rerun this guy and hope we don't have any errors okay we don't have errors so far so control c sw2 it will take 12 hours give it some time and this number will reduce more and more c 11 hours it will reduce more and more okay i open back this guy uh now it's in the right direction and also in the right position but the velocity is not corrected yet here because if we leave it as it is it will move in reverse and we do not want that so i go to initial velocity generation so these guys i just put them negative and also the omega have to be negative okay one more thing is the rotation axis we also need to modify this one and this one okay so first i want to know this uh, number two is for the front wheels or the back wheels you can just draw this one and it is for the front wheel okay so what i can do here wait velocity generation this one right i want to change this one and this one so first i need to measure the node so measure measure this node so this is the location or this is the coordinate i copy this one and i go back to here for the front wheel first i paste it here okay you can see this is the x and this is the z and delete and i accept now i do the same thing for the back wheels i do the same thing for the back wheels okay i copy this one then velocity generation for the back wheels is this guy so i copy here put it this way i copy here put it this place then accept so here we don't have anything we don't have anything we don't have anything okay done okay now control save okay this guy is running sw2 it will take six hours this is this is the run of the small vehicle can close it and then open the result of the small vehicle that runs into nothing so it is moving all right so this file 
this one is ready for being imported to the first file but before we do that I want to mention that in this case we rotated it 180 degrees and when we do that we just change here we change the velocity from positive to negative but what if the impact is at inclined angle then if that the case we rotate let's say by 30 degrees and then to put the velocity in an inclined angle we just need to put the two components so let's say if we put this one 30 and this one is 40 then the car will move at velocity of 50 and the angle will be 36.8 okay enough talking and let's go back to business we have this file saved already now I want to close this and then small car I copy I paste here then I say impact I open then I will import the pickup truck okay but first before I import that guy the database is already defined over there in that file and also the control also all of it are defined in that file so I can just delete this one and also delete all the database because otherwise it will be defined twice okay now contact single surface we can open this one and see what's inside okay we have part set part set number six so if we open part set number six all the parts are defined in part set number six so this contact is for the interaction between the different parts of the vehicle okay so now i control i to import yeah import file pick up file open and then make sure you offset these warnings are the same warnings that in the original file okay so they are head to head nicely placed okay now we need to define the contact between the two vehicles i go to entity and see you can see here from 6 to this 12000 belongs to the first car and then we have this jump you see this huge jump meaning these part sets belong to the other car we already know that this part set 6 defines all the parts of the first vehicle the small vehicle now what I want to do is I want to search for the part set that define all the parts of the big vehicle the pickup truck mm, what I can do here just like this you see this part set only define the outside without the wheel this one is the front wheel this one is the back wheel this is again the same thing the individual wheels this is the leaf springs so I think this one is the most suitable one so our contact now will be between part set 6 which define all the car the first car and part set this one 20 1 2 3 4 6 so go to keyword all you can use uh, surface to surface and you can use also general so car contact so this is part set this is part set so because it is automatic it doesn't matter which one is slave which one is master this is number six and this one is this guy friction we just put some friction here then accept then done control save again i prefer to save it as only one file if you want to save it as two files and then you have to summon the files it's up to you but as i said i prefer it in only one file so that when i copy or share the file i don't have to worry about missing any of the files so i untick on this one then save okay so let's run this one and see whether i will have errors or not okay i save it as pickup you can see the size is 15 megabyte so here open and put all the resources that i can afford might give us error and it might not okay it doesn't give any error that's good so we will wait for a few while and see where this thing will lead us to okay i've been asked uh, recently how to check the quality of the elements uh, to do that you go to keyword model check and then here you have the element quality so if you want to check the solid or the shell or the thick shell or the beam you just click on the type of the element that you want to check then you can check for these things like the quality the, the normal the duplicate 
the curvature and all those things and here you can check the keyword if there is errors or warnings okay now i think i can delete i can just close this guy we just wait for a while and see if everything is working fine or not Control c as w2 it takes three hours on my laptop if you have a pc it might take less maybe one hour and a half or even one hour if you have a strong pc but uh, i'm running now on my laptop which is not that strong for heavy simulations so this is the added mass and this is the percentage increase this one because the mass scaling is being used in this file or in this simulation okay while waiting for this i can show you the full result that i ran before this one okay this is on a different pc i'm using any desk full screen so this supposedly if the contact works then you will get a result similar to this if we zoom in here you can see the wheels are rotating as we expected because we change the location of the rotation axis and we also change the angle of rotation i mean we change the direction from positive to negative and if you want to see let's say the car have a lot of parts you want, you want to see this accelerometer this small part is actually to measure the acceleration of the vehicle where is the other guy for the for the pickup we have like a lot of them a lot of points where we can measure the accel the acceleration but we can only take this guy okay this is the cg accelerometer so i go there then here i click on this one so i'm showing the points where we can measure the acceleration of the vehicle so here see the acceleration this one is uh, the red one is for the small vehicle and the green one is for the pickup truck okay one is one is going positive and one is going negative the red vehicle the acceleration is negative because it's going in the positive x and it's hitting the pickup truck so the velocity in the positive x is decreasing for the small vehicle that's why we have a negative here now we check the velocity here so we can see the velocity of the of the both vehicle the velocity of both vehicles and sorry this one was a displacement the velocity is here okay you can see we set up the velocity of the small vehicle higher than the pickup truck okay you can see it's 27 thousand here is fifteen thousand okay i forgot to mention the units of this one this is twenty seven thousand you just remove the thousand so it'll be twenty seven twenty seven what twenty seven meter per second or millimeter per millisecond and if you convert this one it will be equal to one hundred kilometers per hour do i have a calculator here okay here conversion Mm, speed so here meter per second yes so this one is meter per second but here in this uh, case it will be millimeter and second so this one is 27,000 millimeter per second and this one for the pickup truck 56.16 okay and one more thing that uh, it is of importance when you're doing this collision stuff you have this HIC head injury criteria so you can plot this one also uh, this one is for one of them only this one is for the pickup truck of course there is no injury for the pickup truck but if you have a dummy in, in the vehicle then you, this is how you can output the HIC okay so we show everything okay so now we want to play with the statics of this simulation first of all how to make the background as i did in the previous video you can go to here view background then image then you select the image okay where did i put this guy car impact so i have a few files here so you can 
choose any of these files okay now you rotate and then you position them in the desired place also you want to click on this perspective okay uh, it's not clear here okay now you see here if i don't click on perspective it will be like this if you took some engineering drawings then i think you should know about these things perspective meaning like he, how you will see the object in the real life and without the perspectives like what you draw in engineering drawing for example this wheel is farther than this wheel but if we look in the real life this one will look smaller because it's farther from us so I click on this perspective you can see the farther parts will look smaller so I just rotate them and then put them in the right place is it nice is it look real like this I think so okay so the position is okay now we change the colors so the wheels will be black and then let's say the windows we put it white and then the color let's say this one is red and then this one is light blue oops i click only on that okay white actually it's better that you recolor them before you position them because positioning is not easy okay so i think that's all yeah so that's all i want to go back to see our simulation that we did today just now so here we have some outputs first i want to see if it's working fine or not here run the results although that this one is running you can open and see the simulation results it will not give any problem but it might make the running simulation a bit slower so you can see yeah it's going and hitting each other and everything is fine so if you run and wait and be patient then you will have a result like this one yeah okay the last thing that i want to mention here is how to make the movie you can either hit ctrl and plus m or you can put from here movie ctrl m and then you control the output and you can see if you want to repeat more than one time also can if you want to make it like gif or gif whatever you call it you can also make it in that format and you can control the size and the frame per second the frame per second will control how fast or how slow is the movie that you're gonna make that's all from me thank you very much for watching i hope that you learned something and if you haven't done it already please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like and share this video see you next time